All right, guys, real quick test today. I have my 300 blackout. I believe this is a, a technically a 10 inch. And I have three different suppressors here today. I have two dead air Sandman S's, one with the e-brake, both with the 30 cal end caps. And then I also have the brand new Aero Precision Lahar L. And this one also has the dead air chemo adapter on it. So I do have my uh, chemo brake and all three of these suppressors have the chemo hub. So that's why we're gonna test these. And we're basically gonna do one supersonic, one subsonic, one supersonic, one subsonic, one supersonic, one subsonic. So two shots in each can, one of each for decibel comparison. I have a camera in front of us with a, uh, like basically a high quality mic. And then we have our phone off to the side here. So between all the individual audio and everything going on, I think we should be able to get a pretty good comparison of these. So. I'm not going to wear ears so that I can also tell what's going on. But first we have the Aero Precision Lahar L. Two shots. And I'm not even going to look through my thermal. I'm just going to shoot it in the dirt. Here we go. Supersonic. Definitely loud. Definitely not uh, hearing safe. Or it, if it is, it's very, very borderline. So we're going to take this out for the sub. Okay, here's the sub. So much different. Okay. All right. So pretty big difference between those two, obviously. Now, what we want to do is compare it with the Dead Air Sandman. Just normal setup here. Same thing, one super. One sub, super. I would say that was louder than the Lahar, for sure. All right, sub. Pretty dang good on that one. And last, we have the same exact Dead Air Sandman S, but this time with a e-brake on the end. Let's see if that makes any difference. One super. That might have been the loudest of the three with that that brake on the end. And sub. So yeah, now we're going to roll some footage of these side by side with the subs and the supers. Here we go. Supersonic. Okay, here's the sub. We're gonna shoot 55 grain steel, 55 grain brass, and then some subsonic 223 from Parabellum. So it should be significantly different in all three and it won't cycle because of how uh, low powered it is, but we just want to give an example of three different rounds with three different cans here. Do our best to not knock them off the table. All right, so steel first. No, I mean, not shooting at steel, just shooting in the ground, but steel cased ammo. Brass. And the sub. <laughs> Obviously, that did not cycle, but that was the Aero Precision Lahar. Now let's just do the normal Dead Air Sandman. Okay. Same thing. Steel case 55 grain. Brass 55 and sub. Okay. Sandman comes off. 
Sandman with the e-brake goes on. And last three, 55 grain steel. That might have been the loudest behind because of that brake. 55 grain brass. That was definitely louder. And sub. So, pretty dang awesome, guys. All right, guys, Charles has his 12.5 43 overheat. We've got the Dead Air Sandman S. And we have Ammo Inc. Super uh, Sonic Ammo in the first round, and then Parabellum Subsonic 308 Ammo in the second. We're going to do two shots, one of each in this can, and then we're going to switch cans and do it with the two other cans we got, comparing it with a Dead Air Sandman uh, S with the e brake and then a Aero Precision Lamar F. Sub. Jeez. <laughs> I almost didn't think he should. Sandman S with the e brake Super. Sub. <laughs> this is the Aero Precision Lahar L. First one a super, second one a sub. <laughs> Definitely the quietest yeah, of the sub. Definitely. Hell yeah. to be that break on the end. So it should be significantly louder on this first one. Probably not much of a difference with the sun. Pretty dang similar results. It's hard, hard to kind of tell, you know, just sitting back here. But just for fun, I got two more subs loaded up. Basically a bolt action here, but let's see how loud it is on the steel. <laughs> Does sound like a 22. And one more in the dirt, way up there. Pretty dang sweet, guys. So, Aero Precision Lahar, Dead Air Sandman S, and the Dead Air Sandman S with the e-brake, all three with the chemo hub that goes on our chemo brake. Pretty dang awesome that we can quickly swap suppressors and test like we just did, and all these are still safe to the touch to screw off and swap around so you know not a very scientific test here by any means but we do have some mics going so hopefully you can tell a pretty good difference between them let me know guys what you think do you think the lahar is a solid can performing next to the dead air sandmans um obviously the e-brake has better practical situations of what we're doing it in here but these are the only three that i currently have right now in my possession with the same setup that i could put on the same gun so i thought i might as well take the advantage and get that done um now just to have a little fun let's load up this mag with some subs
put that Lahar back on there. I will tell you the e-brake one seems to have got the uh, warmest out of everything. All right, here's some subs for your pleasure. Oh man, 300 blackout. Can is still safe to the touch after five rounds of subs. Pretty dang cool. Love the blackout, hate the price but still one of my favorite setups. I think it is time to get the thermal and official review, but then get the thermal off of here, get this thing set up for some night vision and start running it pretty hard, uh, especially with those subs in it. That is an awesome, awesome night piece for sure. So let me know what y'all think.